hippos are the third largest land mammals, elephants and white rhinos being the largest land mammals. Let's look at some amazing facts about hippopotamus. Hippopotamus Amphibious A group of hippos are often referred to as a crash, blot, dale, school, or a pod. The Latin word hippopotamus is derived from ancient Greek language. If we divide the word, we see hippo, which means horse, and potamus means river, that is, horse of the river. Fossil records show their closest living relatives are Cetaceans, that is, whales and dolphins. Around 7.5 to 1.8 billion years ago, a possible ancestor of the present hippo lived in Africa and the Middle East. Three or maybe more species of Malagasy hippopotamus became extinct during the Holocene of Madagascar and the last of them within the past thousand years. Presently, there are two species of hippopotamide. The modern hippopotamus and the pygmy hippopotamus are the only living members of family hippopotamide. Five subspecies of hippos have been described based on morphological differences in their skulls as well as differences in geographical range. The Great Northern Hippopotamus or Nile Hippopotamus East African Hippopotamus Cape Hippopotamus or South African Hippopotamus West African Hippopotamus or Child Hippopotamus and Angola Hippopotamus Hippos are recognizable for their barrel-shaped torso, wide opening mouth with large canine tusks, nearly hairless bodies, pillar-like legs, and a yawn of a hippo is a sight to watch. The average adult weight is around 1500 kg for bulls and 1300 for cows. It appears that male hippos continuously grow throughout their life while females reach maximum weight at around age of 25. The species has a typical head to body length of 10.8 to 11.3 feet and an average standing height of 4.6 feet at the shoulder. Hippos are herbivores. Hippos eat an average of 40 kgs of grass a night. While these hippos are not considered nocturnal, but most of the hippos' foraging activity happens during the night. They leave their resting waters near dusk and return back in the morning. Eyes and nostrils of hippos are located reasonably up on the top of their skull because of which they can see and breathe while in water. Underwater, hippos can hold their breath up to 5 minutes. Their primary predators are Nile crocodile, lions, spotted hyenas, and occasionally leopards, that is, when they come out of the water to cool off. These predators primarily attack young hippos. These vocalizations are pretty unique and they make a large variety of noise. Hippos grunt, make loud wheezing sounds, they honk, groan and roar while asserting dominance and claiming territory. They also produce a symphony of sound that can be incredibly loud. It is when a large group of hippos honk together. While some hippos sound might be thunderously loud, others are inaudible to humans. 
parts of their communication happens at a very low frequency and these sounds are known as infrasound. These sounds are so low that they fall below the listening range of human hearing. Another interesting fact about hippopotamus is that they are world's most prolific farters. In a farting competition, a hippo would surely win a gold. Adult hippos move at a speed of 8 km per hour in water, typically resurfacing to breathe every 3 to 5 minutes. Their young ones have to breathe every 2 to 3 minutes. Astonishingly, hippos' speed on flat land is around 30 km per hour. Hippos coexist along with a variety of large predators in their habitat. But these hippos are considered to be extremely aggressive. Hippos charging and attacking boats have been frequently reported. Crocodiles are a frequent target of hippo aggression. Probably because they often inhabit the same riparian habitats. Crocodiles may be either aggressively displaced or killed by hippos. Very interestingly, hippos also get themselves cleaned. In order to get cleaned of parasites, they signal their readiness to certain species of fishes for this service by opening their mouth wide. This is an example of mutualism in which the hippo benefits from the cleaning while the fish receives the food. Hippos spend up to 16 hours a day submerged in rivers and lakes to keep their massive body cool under the hot sun. It is only by the dusk time that hippos emerge out of the water bodies to graze on the grasses. Hippos rest near each other in the water, but grazing is a solitary activity. Territorial behavior of hippos is usually in water, but not on land. Due to highly aggressive and unpredictable nature of hippos, they are among the most dangerous animals in the world. Hippo cows reach sexual maturity at 5 to 6 years of age and have a gestation period of approximately 8 months. Hippo cows isolate themselves to give birth and return to the pot within 10 to 14 days. Calves are born underwater, weighing between 25 to 50 kg and at an average length of around 127 cm. Most importantly, the calves should swim to the surface to take their first breath. A hippo mother typically gives birth to only one calf, though sometimes they give birth to twins. The young ones rest on their mother's back when the water is too deep and they swim under to suckle. When the mother leaves the water, the young ones suckle on the land too. A hippo's lifespan is typically 40 to 50 years. Hippos are threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat and ivory, that is, their canine teeth. Current population of hippos is decreasing and we need to put our efforts together to secure the habitat of this river horse called Hippopotamus.